Hello everybody, thank you for joining me again today. Um, we're going to carry on where we left off yesterday because you did a super job with representing those um, two digit numbers and comparing them using the symbols. Today we're going to progress further and um, instead of using symbols and concrete representation um, of numbers using apparatus, we're going to be using words and digits today um, to carry on with our comparing. So if you come round and have a look, I've got our symbols here, but I've also got the symbols written as words. So I've got less than, greater than, equal to. Okay, and very quickly, we'll just match them up together. So which symbol means less than? You want to quickly write that down? One, two, three, it's this one, isn't it? All right, because remember from left to right, this amount will be less than this amount. The next um, little card says greater than, which symbol means greater than? Well done, it's this one, isn't it? Because again, going from left to right, this amount is greater than this amount. And that leaves us with this symbol, which means equal to or the same. So I'm going to take those symbols away today and um, let's have a look. I've got two numbers written here. Okay, two tens and seven, 27. Two tens and nine, 29. So if they've both got the same number of tens, then you need to look at the number of ones, don't you, and compare those. So seven ones and nine ones. Okay, so when we're counting along the number line, we know that seven comes before nine, so it is less than. All right, so 27 is less than 29. Okay, let's have a look at these two. Okay, so I've got the number written here in words, one ten and six ones. And I've also got the number one ten and six ones, 16. So quickly write down, would it be less than, greater than, or equal to, if you're going from left to right? Well done. All right, they are both representing the same number, so they are equal to each other. All right, and then let's try this one. Five tens and four tens. So there aren't any ones, so you're just comparing the number of tens. So we know that five is greater than four, isn't it? Because, because it comes after it in the number line. So that means that five tens will be greater than four tens. Okay, so hopefully you feel quite confident with that this morning or this afternoon, everybody. And if you pick maths activity one today, then that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be reading the words is more than, is less than, greater than, equal to, and really filling in the gaps so that you are comparing from left to right. And then you can put your own numbers in to the grid to um, make it all make sense. If you would rather just stick with comparing numbers within 20, then go to maths activity two. And you can see the greater than, less than symbol, and you're just comparing the amount on the left to the amount on the right and then putting the right symbol in between. Okay, so good luck with that, everybody. Um, I'm sure you're gonna do a super job. Bye.